Tonight, a story of heartbreak and inspiration. A Waukesha man is dying of a rare disease. Many people in his position would be bitter, but he is living his life with courage and dignity. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. Jim Utizi's joy of playing ball with his son is tempered by the knowledge that Jim is going to die a horrible death. I kind of fear dying the way that this would take me. It's not the way I would have drawn it up. Jim has Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, a disease that paralyzes his body while his mind remains sharp. I wouldn't say I have bad days, but I have a lot of bad moments. You know, it's a bad moment every time my little eight-year-old wants to go throw the baseball and practice for his game, and I can't throw it. That's a bad moment every time, you know. Or my little girl wants me to pick her up. Jim's arms don't work anymore. Eventually, nothing will work. But somehow, he's happy. I loved my life, and it may sound odd, but I wouldn't change a thing. This YouTube video shows a day in the life of what like Jim house. calls the new normal. Four kids, a wife, a dying dad. It's heartbreaking. Dad, yes. do you have an angel fish? <laughs> Surprisingly, Jim is also filled with hope. He's become a spokesperson for ALS of Wisconsin. So he blogs about his life, but even that is a struggle. It takes me a while. He writes yeah. about the future, knowing he likely won't be around for graduations, weddings, grandchildren. How do you live with those goals and those dreams when reality is I probably won't be a part of a lot of them? Some patients deteriorate more rapidly than others. And my shoulders used to be stacked. <laughs> Tony Turner had never heard of ALS. A year ago, he was a normal 30-year-old, but now... A horrible disease. He's shooting videos to raise awareness and money to find a cure. It affects everyone around me. They all have to chip in. They all have to go through the depression and the stress. ALS only strikes two people in every hundred thousand, but it could be any one of us. <laughs> Jim thinks there's a lesson for everyone on how to live life. I sit back now, I think how many things are worried about every day that are so trivial in perspective of what's really important. It was an eye opener. Jim dreads the day he'll no longer be able to speak. To never tell my daughter I love her, for her to hear that, um, really stinks. <laughs> he started recording video messages to his family on his laptop, messages that can speak for him on special occasion. Some of it's serious, some of it's just their dad being goofy and hopefully make him smile, but letting them know that if I'm not there, I'm there. What's your last message going to be? Live your life, carry on, reach your dreams. As Jim contemplates his life and his death. And uh, he manages to find words of inspiration. Don't be bitter or angry at God or this world. because of what happened to me. Physically, uh, Jim is very weak, but emotionally, I don't know if I have ever met anyone with the strength that he has. Really, you have to admire his resolve. Heartbreaking and impossible not to get emotional over that, but yeah. he is such such an, an inspiration, really is an understatement. Yeah, he is a fighter, that's for sure. There is a big fundraiser to fight ALS. It's at Miller Park on July 27th. It's called Chasing a Cure. It's a tailgate party, tickets to the game, uh, Brewers game, food as well, a t-shirt and a concert. Admission is $50 and it would be money well spent to help find a cure for this horrible disease.